Hi, Joel. And welcome to a segment I'm calling Suyin's World of Soybeans. Hey, that's clever. Are we going to have coloring lessons too? No, I'm wondering if you can tell me the connection between crayons and soybeans. Hmm. No, you got me stumped on that one. Well, soybeans contain a large amount of oil, and once that oil is extracted, it's used for a lot of different things. Like crayons? For sure. Industrial soybean oil is mixed with other ingredients, including a lot of different colors, and it's used to make crayons. It's also used for cosmetics and paint. Plastic parts in our cars, ink to print books, magazines and newspapers. Well, I thought soybeans were used for food, too. They are. The oil from beans is the base product for most salad dressings, margarine, and mayonnaise. And those good-tasting french fries cook in soybean oil. What about the solid part of the beans? They're not all oil? You're right. The other part is meal. A lot of that goes into a high-protein feed for cattle and poultry. But a lot is used for human food products, too. It's very healthy. You mean we eat soybean meal? I've never seen it in a grocery store. That's because soybean meal is processed for human use. It's made into soy flour for baked products. It's used in soy sauce, soy milk. A lot of baby food has soy products. It's even in soy burgers. Soy this and soy that. I even heard somebody mention soy diesel once. That's right. Soybean oil is now being further refined and mixed with diesel fuel. It's called biodiesel. Cool. So we're actually growing oil right here in Minnesota soybean fields rather than importing it? You got that right. Soybeans are one of the most valuable crops grown in Minnesota and across the country. They're a renewable food and fuel resource. I like that approach, and I've got a great closing line. Soybeans are helping us color a brighter future. Minnesota is one of the most important corn and soybean producing states in the country, ranking in the top three or four nationwide. One acre is about the size of a football field, 43,560 square feet. Fields can be any size, and in some areas they may be as large as one square mile, which is one section of land or 640 acres. Crops grown throughout the state are important for two major reasons. They provide food for people and livestock, and they are renewable sources of energy and co-products used in hundreds of things we use every day. Research done at the University of Minnesota and other colleges and universities is helping us learn how to better utilize crops we grow for renewable energy.